In the previous videos, we could see how the road axis can be defined in horizontal and vertical direction. Also, we learned how the road templates can be defined in the road project manager. In this video, I would like to show you how the templates are assigned to the axis and what options are available to visualize the road structure. First, we assign the land requirement template that define the calculation boundaries for our st road structure. For it, it is important that the defined boundaries are within the terrain surface area. If the boundaries exceed this terrain surface area to the left or right road side, the calculation of the road structure cannot be performed in the next step. After defining the land requirement template, we set the cross-section template for the left and right roadside independently. Whenever a template is assigned to an axis, the checkboxes for the closed start and closed end are initially inactive. This inactive or deactivated start and end mark for a template states that the calculation of this template is proceeded until the next template is detected or the start point, respectively the end point, of the alignment are reached. If the template calculation is exceeding the defined start point, this is also indicated by an arrow in the graphical preview. When the checkbox gets activated, the calculation is terminated at the exact station point. This can be useful for calculating transitions between consecutive templates. Only if the end station of template 1 and also the start station of template 2 are closed, a transition between these templates is calculated in the intermediate section. Once all the relevant templates are assigned to the axis, so for land requirement, cross-section template, roadside template and the sub-base template, the road geometry is directly calculated. The design view as the basic representation of the road shows the polygonized lines for the road edges. With the command apply layout style, we can easily change the visual representation of our model. It is possible to select the predefined layout styles delivered with the version. If the user prefers an individual layout style, this can be set and defined in the road project manager. As mentioned in the previous tutorial, the superelevation of the main carriageway is not defined in the template. It can be defined with the command set superelevation and again can be set for the left and right roadside independently. With the pen icon at the right side of the defined superelevation, some additional settings for the superelevation can be defined. This, for instance, could be the definition of an inlet and outlet distance for the defined superelevation. After confirming the input, the changes are directly reflected in the model. Let me now show you the power of the parametric approach of Alplan Road Design. For it, I open the vertical alignment editor and modify the vertical axis geometry. After applying the changes, the road model is directly updated to the new situation. We also see that a ditch has been created at both road sides. This is because of the condition property in the template that is defined for the ditch creation. Thank you.